everyone welcome back to my channel microbiology easy notes if you like this channel please like subscribe comment and share today we will look into the methods of direct and indirect staining these techniques also known as positive and negative staining respectively so let's start what is staining Staining is a microscopic technique used to increase contrast in microscopic image. Microorganisms are almost colorless. Therefore, it is difficult to observe them when they are unstained. So basically, staining gives color to the colorless cells, tissues or other microscopic components like bacteria, viruses, capsules, spores, etc. So Staining make them highlighted and they can be visualized better under a microscope. Staining categories. There are three types of staining categories. First is simple stain. Second is differential stain and third is spatial stain. Simple stain further divided into two groups. Direct staining which is also known as positive staining. Second is indirect staining which is also known as negative staining. Differential stain also categorized in a group 1 and group 2. Group 1 separate microorganism into different groups like gram staining differentiate between gram positive and gram negative bacteria and acid fast stain differentiate between acid fast and non acid fast bacteria. Second category helps to visualize structure of bacteria like flagella and capsule. There are third category which is known as spatial staining. It highlights spatial feature of the cells that cannot be identified with routine histological and microbiological techniques like collision. So in this video we are going to cover simple staining method. In this method single dye is used, two or more dyes are not used in this method. Only one single step is required to stain the target. Everything stain in the same color. This staining method used to stain whole cell or particular cellular component. Direct or positive staining. Dye which is basic or alkaline in the nature is used in this type of staining. Basic dye contains positively charged color portion. Usually all bacterial cells have slightly negative charge due to chemical nature of their cytoplasm when growing in a medium of neutral pH. Therefore, when basic dye is applied on bacterial cell, negative charge of cell combines with positive color portion of the dye as opposite attracts and the organism becomes directly stained. Basic dye examples are methylene blue, safranin, crystal violet, malachite green, etc. This type of staining helps to examine internal structure of the cell. Procedure of Positive Staining First step, sterilize the inoculation loop over the flame of Bunsen burner and cool it down for a 2-3 second. Next step, dip it in a broth containing bacteria and take loop full of culture. Third step, smear a culture on glass slide and make a thin film and allow the suspension to completely dry. Fourth step, Quickly pass this slide over a flame 3-4 times to heat fix. Fifth step, let it cool it down for a bit. Next step, place it over a staining tray. Next step, cover this entire thin film with the stain and wait for a minute. Next step, using a wash bottle, wash off the excess stain and gently dry it with blotting paper. And last step, with the help of immersion oil, Observe this slide under a microscope. Indirect or negative staining. In this method, acetic dye is used like nigrosin, eosin or india ink etc. Color portion of acetic dye is negatively charged and bacterial cytoplasm is also negatively charged. So when acetic dye reacts with bacteria, its negative charge repelled by the negative charge of bacterial cell and the result is dye deposits around the bacterial cell leaving the cell itself colorless since the organism is seen indirectly this type of staining is called indirect or negative staining this method is used to examine the organism's shape size and arrangement procedure of indirect staining Place a small drop of dye on a clean glass slide. 
heat sterilize inoculating loop and cool it down take a loop full of culture from broth spread this culture with varying pressure across the slide and make sure dye is not too thick air dry the slide and observe it under a microscope using immersion oil and this is the image of direct staining and indirect staining under the microscope